Hey, what's going on guys? Connor Blackman here, personal trainer, and today I'm gonna to be talking about fixing your back workouts. But if you're new to the channel, make sure you go watch my last video on the topic where I talk about activating your lats and rhomboids before doing any exercises. So I'll post a link to that in the description. But if you've already done that, then let's get to work. Before we start this video, let's make it a goal to get 10 likes in the first day. So go ahead and smash that like button. All right, here we go. So what we're looking at today is a dumbbell row. So many people dislike training their backs because when they do their rows, they fatigue in their biceps and they don't even feel anything in their back. As mentioned in my last video, this is usually due to improper hand or elbow placement. So I'm gonna play a couple clips today to show you guys what I mean. On this first clip, I want you to notice my hand positioning in relation to my shoulder. On the picture on the right, you see that my hand is directly under my deltoid. This is a big mistake that a lot of people make. Having your hand so close to your bicep on a row is essentially gonna make this a back exercise. Really, all you're doing here is a funny looking bicep curl. Notice in the picture on the left how my arm kind of makes a right angle. Pay attention to that because that's very important. Next, let's look at my elbow position. You probably hear a lot of bodybuilders talk about mind and muscle connection, right? Well, to get that mental connection to your back, we have to think about what your body wants to naturally use. Your biceps like to use your hands, but your back likes to use your elbows. So the first thing we need to do is take your elbow and bring it close to your hip. Having your elbow out to the side is gonna make this more of a rear delt exercise than anything. So now that your elbow's tight to your hip, now let's think about driving back with our elbow, not our hands. And then finally, all you have to do at the top of the movement is take your shoulder blade and push it inwards. If you follow all these steps, you should have a perfect dumbbell row. But that's it for today, everyone. Did you like today's video? What's your favorite back exercise? Let me know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe for more content. See you guys next time. Peace. But really what you're doing is you're pulling your scapula in. I highly recommend that you start your back workouts with four to five sets of this exercise for about 15 to 20 reps. I have noticed that 